Welcome. I'm excited to talk to you today about how you can make zero trust a reality with Google Workspace Security. Hi, I'm Andy Wen, Director of Product Management for Workspace Security Compliance and Privacy, and I'm thrilled to be here today with you all. My background and passions lie in security. A huge part of my career has been devoted to protecting all of our end users on the internet and around the world from abuse and attacks. Prior to my time in Google Workspace, I led a team at Google that would use threat intelligence from the over 300 products in our Google ecosystem to protect over 3 billion consumers and enterprise users from malware, phishing, and other common cyber security attacks. And today, I dedicate all my time on helping enterprises keep their corporation, their data, and their end users safe and productive as they work on workspace and other cloud-based applications and the internet. From my background in keeping 3 billion plus end users safe, as they work, collaborate, and use the internet, Google is experienced and has invented new ways for our advanced security to automatically protect organizations and end users who use our products. New threats and bad actors are constantly evolving, yet protecting our massive 3 billion user user base gives us insights into the trends that are present in the landscape and what's coming. When, with that, we can get ahead of them. We aggregate billions of signals in an anonymized way and apply our advanced AI to train our machine learning models for threat protection capabilities. No one else has the combination of signals and experience in AI to protect you and your organization. That's why we do things like stop 99.9% .9 of phishing and malware attempts in Gmail or block over 100 million spam messages in Gmail from reading, reaching customers. Google keeps more people safe online than anyone else in the world, and we use this capability to protect your enterprise from malware, phishing, spam, and many other kinds of cyber attacks. And so now we can turn a bit more toward the new normal style of working. At Google, we wanted to secure our own way of pro being productive with collaborative ap applications for our own use. And this allowed us to pioneer the development of what is now called Zero Trust. We believe Zero Trust is the best model to protect our new normal style of working in a hybrid and distributed workforce. There are really three key principles. The first is to eliminate privileged networks. Just because you're on a certain network should not give you access to a specific resource. The second is ensuring you know who all the users and devices on your network are and who can access resource and doing so with continuous authorization and authentication. The way we've constructed our zero trust framework within Google Workspace is very much aligned with the NIST and CISA framework around zero trust to eliminate implicit trust and continuously validate interactions at every step. It all starts with these four key pillars. The first is around users. And what we want to do with this is really set up security zones where you can enable higher strength protections for your riskiest users and your data. So with users, you can create high risk groups that you require increased credential strength. This might be users who typically access sensitive data and you want them to have a higher level of credential strength and authentication. The next would be devices. You want to make you may want to make sure that any sensitive data that's being accessed is only done so from a managed device or browser with the correct configuration. So our posture control enables you to do that. We can al even allow you to set certain certificates as required before access is allowed. The third is around security context. The environment, the threat la landscape around us is always changing. And as phishing and malware impact your users, we can enable increased credential production protection that we'll get into in just a few minutes, all automatically without you needing to take a step. And then we provide increased visibility and analytics around what's happening to your users all the time. And the last one is very important around setting the boundary around your applications and your data. This really enables you as, a, as an administrator and company owner to, to set boundaries around your sensitive data via DLP and labels. It's a bit like a a bank. Sometimes you put the most sensitive things in the vault. In the same way, you can define what's the most sensitive data in your enterprise and put it in a vault and ensure that it requires additional verification, authentication, other security controls before it can be accessed. This enables you to have an incredibly dynamic and effective means to protect your sensitive data. 
And just to give you a sense of Google's journey on this, Google started this journey in 2011 when we saw the need to approach security in a completely new way to protect ourselves from attacks. We built Beyond Core as a zero trust model over a decade ago. And since then, we've embedded zero trust principles into how we build all of our products, including Google Workspace. And this has enabled us to be able to launch a platform called Beyond Core Enterprise so that every company can work like Google. In Google Workspace, our security is anchored around three core zero trust principles. First is ensuring you have secure collaboration by design. It doesn't require additional steps and doesn't require bolt on products. The second is real time advanced threat protection. You need to ensure you have the very best threat protection built into your products. And the third is having enterprise grade data protection and privacy for all. So let's start on the first one, secure collaboration by design. The first is ensuring that you can be productive from anywhere, whether you're at home or in the office, but also what devices are you using, particularly around mobile devices like iOS and Android. Second is ensuring you have persistent data control. You wanna make sure that your sensitive data stays where it should rather than floating around in attachments or third-party storage applications. We offer comprehensive end-to-end -end data control so that the point that the data is created, shared, accessed, and even after it's been accessed, you have flexible access management and data control capabilities. And the third is about ensuring security is easy for your end users to access. IT admins work incredibly hard to avoid disrupting their end users' productivity, but sometimes you have to make policy changes and you have to provide additional training. So it's great when the end user product offers nudges to help educate your users on how to do the right thing. And we're gonna talk about that with chat DLP in just a moment. So as we turn to some of our major product announcements, we wanted to announce that DLP for Google Chat is going generally available. And this is really attractive from a number of perspectives for both our IT and end users. For IT, you now know DLP is baked into the chat infrastructure, so it covers all the messages that are happening and it happens at very low latency so it doesn't disrupt end user productivity. Then we have over 100 out of the box detectors that detect different kinds of sensitive information. And we even included the ability to do OCR, optical character recognition, to detect images that have uh, sensitive data, data inside them. Then for end users, we wanted to provide the opportunity to educate end users so they would understand what is PII and what is credit card information and provide them warning messages so they can understand why certain data is being blocked and they can be uh, partners with you in your security journey. In another aspect of secure collaboration, we're making it easier than ever to, to control your internal and external collaboration and sharing with trust rules for Drive that is also going generally available. You may have scenarios where you have to control private information from being shared within the company as well as outside the company. You may need to do this for compliance with public company requirements, as well as protecting your brand reputation and avoiding potential fines. So here's two scenarios. The first is a finance team that controls data like financials that needs to be kept within that team or to a few other uh, companion teams like executives, but you don't want that shared across the company. With trust rules, you can create a boundary within your company. Then you may have uh, external sharing that you actually do want to allow. You have a marketing team that's working with a trusted agency, and you want to enable external sharing between those two teams, but you don't want to allow broad external sharing between all of your users. And so trust rules can enable you to do that as well. Whatever your needs are, trust rules enables you to define the trust sharing boundaries that you need to meet your business needs as well as protect your reputation and your sensitive data. The next one's very exciting as well in terms of how we're advancing data loss protection. And we're doing this with Google's leading artificial intelligence. The problem that our AI approach is solving is that DLP traditionally has only identified specific patterns that are known like social security numbers, credit card numbers, and other content that has clear patterns. But within each company, you may have large classes of data that doesn't fit a pattern. This could be something like confidential data, need to know, or proprietary. And this is actually unique to each company. It's very difficult to write rules for these. 
So now, starting in Q1, you can build your own models with Google, Google's AI's latest innovations. We call this the few shot text classification model. What this enables you to do is with a limited training data set, without the data scientist, to be able to create your own models that identify what's confidential, what's need to know, or what, what is a certain label of your own making unique to your enterprise, and it's private only for your company. This has the potential to really widen your DLP program to new levels without creating unnecessary user friction. We're very excited about bringing the best of Google AI to help your company control your sensitive information. And also, as part of real-time alerting, we're consolidating all our audit logs in one place so they're easy to use, and we're adding real-time capability for Gmail detections, which enables you to stay on top of security threats as they happen. In our device pillar, we are making it easier than ever for you to ensure sensitive data stays in your workspace instance rather than leaking to employee devices. When that happens, lost devices can also lead to lost sensitive customer data. We can also prevent insiders from mass downloading customer data with multiple mobile devices. For iOS, we've added copy, paste, and download controls. For Android, which has already had these capabilities, we're adding much easier enrollment experiences that include zero trust enrollment, as well as customizations around password complexity. And with our real-time advanced threat protection, we're always innovating on the newest and latest ways to find threats. When we find these, these are automatically updated in your workspace instance. You don't need to do anything, and you're safe from emerging threats. These threats even include uh, attacks that can come from other cloud platforms, even Google Cloud Platform as an attack vector. So we're always looking at every route that your users and your company could be attacked. And we use all of these real-time threat protections to protect you automatically. In this case, with our secure authentication, we can identify risky events based on suspicious login patterns and re-authenticate with two-step verification or additional forms of authentication. An example of this is hijackers often want to set up an email filter to send themselves information from a user's account. This is a key sensitive action that is protected with our automated risk-based reauthentication. And we want you to know that our rigorous compliance is built into the core of workspace. It doesn't have to be in a separate gov cloud that limits your collaboration and which users you can collaborate with. And it ha doesn't have and Workspace has the latest features. If you'd like to learn more about this, you can watch our talk on sovereign controls for Workspace. And there you can learn about our access controls, our regional storage and processing, as well as client-side encryption. And just to highlight on client-side encryption, this makes you the ultimate arbiter of all access to your data. It helps data stay as private as private gets with a private key that only you get and Google never sees. We are offering client-side encryption capabilities across our suite from Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Meet, which are already generally available. And we have Gmail and Calendar coming soon. This enables you to control your data. So from device to device, you are assured that with your private key, no one else, not even Google, can see your data. Now we have Mark Eimer, who's the CTO of Hackensack and Meridian Health, and he's going to come share with us about his Zero Trust journey and how Google Workspace and Google Cloud are part of this. Mark, love to hear about your journey. Hey, thanks, Andy. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, as you can imagine, Hackensack Meridian Health is the largest healthcare provider in New Jersey. And because of that, we deal with a lot of restricted and confidential data. So in March of 2021, when we moved over to Google Workspace and we had 30% reduction in spam uh, because of the AI in, in Gmail, and we had reduced phishing attacks coming across, it was a great surprise to all of us just based on the additional security capabilities that the platform brought us. Now, Workspace was a great start for us, but we're also focusing on identity governance like you talked about with users. So trying to make sure that our 36,000 employees and our 7,000 physicians have access to the right data at the right time with the right privilege is very key to us. Uh, nobody wants a breach. And so 
being able and ensuring that we have a zero trust. And to your point, it is a journey. Uh, we're not there yet. It's more of a dimmer switch for us. Uh, but Google Workspace was a great part of our beginning of our journey to get to zero trust. Thanks so much, Mark. And uh, could you share more about how Beyond Core Enterprise is part of your journey as well? Yes. So Beyond Corp Enterprise is going to be a great asset in the toolbox for us. Again, because we are healthcare and we deal with confidential and restricted data. And I do have a large research organization that does do business outside of the continental US. Because we've taken a very draconian uh, process and geo-blocked over 240 countries, we'll now be able to use the advanced firewall features of Beyond Corp uh, and move to a much more modern way of giving our researchers and our employees the right access to the right data at the right time in whichever country they need to do business with. So uh, it's going to be a, a great enabler for us as we move forward in our zero trust journey. Mark, it's so great to hear how uh, zero trust is both keeping your enterprise to be more safe as well as more flexible and productive. Thanks so much for sharing. Oh, thank you. And as we recap our time together, we want to emphasize the way that you can secure the way you work with Google Workspace Security. And you can also extend your protection in Zero Trust to other apps using Beyond Core Enterprise. It enables you to easily extend your, your, your protections to other parts of your apps like SaaS and private apps. And third, is we address broader security challenges through our Work Safer program that enables other Google products and third-party best-of-breed products to enhance your security. From Chronicle, which does security event management, as well as CrowdStrike, Netscope, and Palo Alto Networks. And just to give you a, a sense, you can start building your Zero Trust program on Google Workspace today with a number of the controls that you see here on the left. And then you can easily extend them with Beyond Core Enterprise into the rest of your IT infrastructure. We're so excited that you joined us here to learn more about Zero Trust and Workspace. We encourage you to come and watch our Beyond Core Enterprise session where you can learn how you can extend that. You can also learn more about digital sovereignty and client-side encryption in our digital sovereignty session. And finally, you can start your journey today with Google Workspace on Zero Trust. Thank you.